Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Aline. I'm a jewelry designer and I have my studio here in Arizona and uh, right now actually the weather it's not quite too hot yet. We're, this is May which we are beautiful up into the 80s and sometimes 90s but oh for us that's beautiful this time of year. So I am working with, uh, for me, a new gem. It's not a new gem, but for me, it's a new gem. It's called Smoky Quartz. Now, of course, it's part of the duh, quartz family. And uh, that means it's a harder stone. Uh, quartz, uh, this one is a, what they call a seven on the Richter scale, 10 being the most uh, hard, which is diamond. And uh, so seven is great for working with it as a jeweler because uh, first of all, you can facet it, which I'll show you a couple of pieces. And then um, it, 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 it's doesn't, it isn't brittle and it doesn't break easily. Now that being said, obviously you need to take care of your pieces. But first I wanna show you uh, what it looks like uh, in the raw, so to speak. This is a piece I purchased recently. This is, what smoky quartz looks like coming out of the ground. Now, the, you call this in matrix, basically quartz, this is very uh, common with quartz, is this is the, the matrix that you see here. Kind of goes to a point like that. And this one is in the really deep brown, so it's a very, very beautiful piece. So I was really glad that I was able to acquire it. So that's what it looks like before it turns into jewelry. <laughs> now, I'm gonna show you a couple of pieces uh, that are finished first, and then we'll talk a little bit about the lore as well. This is a piece that I've just finished here, and um, I've paired it with tiger eye, because I liked the combination. And this is done in fine silver. Now I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see the height to it, and you can see all the faceting. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just such a beautiful gem. Show you a couple more pieces and we'll talk a little more. This one is a ring, obviously, I guess. Um, and this is done with my sacred spiral. Again, just by itself, it's beautiful. And it, I even have one finished here that's done as a cuff. This one I did with the copper and silver. I will be doing more cuffs just in fine silver as well. And then I'm wearing the earrings so you could see, because I wanted you to see, now this is a lighter, let me get it over here, a lighter version, but I paired it with uh, garnet. And the garnet is also faceted. So, um, boy, I hope you can see that pretty well. I mean, the two together make, I think it's an elegant look. So I was really happy to get those finished. Now I'm gonna, um, <laughs> put the earring back on. Um, I'm going to move this down so you can see a couple more of the pieces. Of course you saw this. Now, um, smoky quartz, uh, is it's prevalent. You can find it in a lot of places. It's mined in a lot of different areas. And you'll see it in everything from very light colors like this, all the way up into darker colors like these that are going to be earrings shortly. Uh, the darker colors, as it gets deeper, they become more valuable. Now it is prevalent as far as a gem goes, so um, it's not, it's not a, I, I guess you could de definitely call it precious gem because quartz is, but it's certainly easier to find and so that much more affordable. But pieces like this that are in the darker color are much more valuable. And I also wanted to show you while we're down here how I can pair it with other gems because that's what I'm going to start doing. I've paired it here, of course, with the tiger eye, you see. And um, here's a bigger piece of the tiger eye to give you an idea how they combine together. But also, I want to start playing around with turquoise with it. I, I love this combination. Um, I also like the rose quartz. That's going to be a nice combination. This is Moonstone. To me, Moonstone goes with almost everything. And I love Moonstone. So um, I'm definitely gonna be using some pairings with that. And then this one is actually a sister to Tiger Eye. This is actually called Tiger Iron. And you can see it has more gold tones in it. I don't know if you can even see that. Let's see if I can get that closer. 
And I think those are guy I'm debating. We'll see if I want to do that one. And the last one is called Chrysopace. And this is kind of that apple green color. And you'll see, depending on the, the gem, you'll see browns in it as well. And I thought that would make a nice combination too. So those are the things I'm going to be playing around with as I get more into working with this gem. So you can see that it does have a color variation. Now, um, I just wanted you to know that it is actually the um, national gem of Scotland. And the Scottish have used it for years, centuries actually. And uh, one of the things they've done is made uh, items out of smoky quartz and pinned them to their kilts. So I'm guessing even today you would see that in some of their ceremonial um, uh, events that they have where they're wearing the kilts. And uh, you might see some smoky quartz in those areas. Also, um, it's other areas have used it as well too. Uh, ancient Egypt comes to mind because they used it. And I'm going to look at my notes here quickly because I, they came, they were talking about, um, it's from the goddess of magic, it's called Hecate. Now it's H-E-C-A-T-E. I may be pronouncing that wrong, but he's considered the goddess of mag magic, and that particular gem is uh, associated with them. So, kind of gives you an overview of smoky quartz. As far as taking care of it, um, it doesn't lose its color unless you're like in the sun for like 12 hours and you're wearing it, which I do not recommend. But otherwise, the color will stay, so it's not going to fade. So I do like that about it as well. And if you're interested in seeing more about gems, just obviously subscribe and you know stay in tune because I do a lot with the gems also, kind of updates on what I'm doing for my design. So I appreciate you being here and uh, have a great day.